Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what who my favorite players to play against are and what type of characteristics. After every FNM, I go have I eat you either to Brick Tavern or we'll go to AMC, which is the movie theater, and we'll watch some movies together. Uh, and it is, you know, I break it down into two types of friends I have at the Magic Locals. One type of friend, you're going to hang out outside Magic, and the other type of friend, you're only going to ever talk about Magic to them. Now, the friends that I enjoy playing with most are the super casual, I can invite them on a Thursday night to hang out. We'll open, you know, a few fat packs of the latest set. We'll make some sealed. I, I really like sealed because you get to keep the cards. I will drink some... We'll drink some beer, we'll have some alcoholic beverages, everyone gets an Uber to go home, or their significant other picks them up. And that's the type of friends that I enjoy playing Magic with most of all. The friends I have um, who are not just Magic friends, but they can, you can also do other stuff. I go to the Kemba Boardwalk quite a bit, because that whole city, that Kemba Boardwalk, like I don't forget what city it was called, but they are a giant Pokemon Go nest players thing. So once a month, we'll drive all the way down there, which is an hour and 15 minutes away. Uh, my significant other and I will drive, we'll pick up you know, one friend, and then the two other friends uh, we have, they'll drive down together as well. So as six people, we'll go out and we will play um, a lot of Pokemon Go. Well, you know, sometimes we'll bring magic decks, we'll have uh, dinners at Laundry's, which is a seafood restaurant in the area. And those are my favorite people to play magic with because while you're playing magic, you can say, oh, how was your week? You know, how was work? How was, you know, oil and gas field? And you can talk about even politics, really. Um, I'm down here in Texas and most of us are Republicans. Uh, do we love Donald Trump? Probably not. No, I would probably say no, but I would say uh, we do like, um, we are less liberal than, let's say, when I was in NYU, where everyone was super liberal. Uh, anyway, back to my point is I like people, I like playing with people who have uh, similar interests to you, um, and you can talk about other stuff that not just not magic cards, because I feel like the best times I've ever had playing Magic is just playing EDH, casual or sealed with a bunch of friends, and those friends are we're talking about non-Magic the entire time that we're actually playing Magic. Those to me are the best experiences. The other group of friends I like, the Magic players, I like people from all different types of uh, jobs, all different types of education, all different types of personalities, and that makes for a really fun EDH, and that's what we I had at Groovy Geckos. I have not found a place like that in Houston, where it is just such a diverse amount of people who are just very friendly, very nice, and they don't really care about winning. As I play more and more Magic, I'm getting extremely casual. I used to care a lot about winning, but now I will bring in a deck of uh, just Falias and <laughs> I think I don't even know what else is in the deck. I just know that she's in the deck. And I'm just having fun. I'm just putting like stuff on her, equipping her, and like putting enchantments and just trying to swing in with a huge violet, which I've tried to do on Magic Duels as well. Most of the time, all the decks revolve around the two rares I have of her. And because Magic Duels limits you to how many Filiars you can have. And the waiting and waiting and drawing out the game. So I would say my favorite players, uh, my favorite non-Magic players to play with are people who share the same hobby as me, who um, share a very similar lifestyle in terms of you know where they live, um, who they know, what they do fun, and that's really good. But when I'm playing Magic, I also, I also do have a group of Magic players who I love to death, and they are just very unique and diverse. And they're, but we only talk about magic. We only play magic together. We never, do, we never go out to get dinner. We never go out to see you know, a movie. We never go out to play Pokemon Go. I know they play Pokemon Go. Um, it's just that like, when I'm playing Pokemon Go, it's really a way for me to catch up with my friends who I haven't seen for a while. And the same with where we go to 
uh, Bach Shiner, and we'll we'll get some Bach Shiners from the um, uh, Walmart. We'll bring it home. We'll have some, you know, our drinks, and we'll open them boxes of crap, and we'll draft, and we'll play sealed. That to me is. Uh, probably my favorite experience in Magic, and it's not related to FNM, it's not related to game day, it's not a GP. Uh, it's just a very casual way to do it. Um, I used to love GPs. Now, you know, the travel and the oh, it's not the expenses of travel that I mind so much anymore. That's I used to mind that the most when I was um, had less income. I was like, oh, you know, I would go to every GP if I could afford it, but I can't afford it now. Even though I can afford to go to a lot of GPs, I'm not going to go because the stress as well as the uh, time commitment is quite a, a lot. Anyway, uh, who are your favorite Magic players to play against? Uh, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.